Now, duplicate that layer again, and we're going to create one more. So move that around, control T, flip horizontal. I'm going to move it right there and make it bigger. Now I'm going to change the color of this to blue, a light blue. So I'm going to go here, choose a light blue, click OK, OK. And once you have something that you want, something that you really like, you can uh, merge these three layers. So abstract, abstract copy, and abstract copy too. If you have more layers, merge them too. You can create more uh, new shapes with the pen tool every time if you want to make it more unique. But to save time, we're going to do this way. We're going to move this layer to somewhere we want to keep it. So I'll just keep it right about there. And now you want to create the text. So to create the text and the text effect, we're going to create a new layer. Well, we're not going to need to create a new layer yet. But you get get the text tool and write anything you want. So I'm going to write Miss GIF, all in capital. Um, the only problem is if, if it's not in capi capital, if you have a P or a Q, it's going to go below the line and we want it to have a reflection effect and it's not going to look good. So we want to have it capital. Okay, now we want to set the font to Futura LT, and I'm pretty sure that all computers have this font already installed on them, but if you don't, Google it and download it. Or you can just use any other font you want. It doesn't have to be this one. We're going to set the font size to 90, and we're going to move it down against the bar. So if we zoom in, can see it's right against the bar. Now we want to add the bulbs. So create a new layer now and rename this layer bulbs and get the brush tool and make sure your foreground color is still set to white. Right click, choose the 13 size soft brush. Now we want to change that 13 to a 15 up here and then you want to start making your first bulb right at the end I'm gonna make my first bulb okay so uh, let me just increase this up a bit so I'm just gonna make it 18 since I increased the font so font size so I'm gonna 18 alright so that looks good so just make it anywhere you want all the corners some of the corners I'm just gonna make it on some of the corners so just start I know this isn't perfect. Um, I'm not taking my time. If you once you guys are making it, uh, really take your time, and so it's gonna be your wallpaper, so you're gonna be seeing it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So once you have something that you like, you can just click out uh, and click the move tool and align it if it's not perfect so that's perfect now we want to create the reflection of the mischief lettering so as you can see it says mischief it's reflecting it looks like it's reflecting off the ground so duplicate the mischief layer control J and again it doesn't have to be mi uh, mischief it could be anything else you want and holding down shift you want to drag it down so it stays perfectly aligned and hold control T and right click flip vertical enter and you want to line it up to right against the mischief layer now you want to add a layer mask to it alright and you should get this layer mask thing here and you want to go to the gradient tool and choose your gradient to black to white now start down here and go up until you find an effect that you really like so just 
Alright, so let's just say we want to keep that. Now, we want to uh, reduce the opacity of this to 50. So it gives it a better look. And zoom out. And voila! We are complete. We can add more stuff to it if you want, um, add more abstract layers, add some more text here, a quote, whatever you want is all up to you. You can add another one of these on this side on all four corners, everything is up to you. Um, now to set as your background, you want to go to file, save as, and save it as a JPEG or whatever. Uh, JPEG. I'm just gonna set it to m save it to my do documents. So wallpaper, paper, and quality. Set set it to the best quality you can. My documents and wallpaper. Right click, set as desktop background. And if we close out, wa okay, voila, right there. So that's it for this video, and I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this tutorial and can make amazing wallpapers. If if you guys do create some great wallpapers, post a video response to this video or whatever. Thanks for watching. Remember subscribe for more videos.